914, Sunday morning. Time to get to church. Gotta work that camera. I actually put on makeup. Now I kind of regret it because I don't think I blended well enough. Whatever, I tried. Okay, um, obviously nothing on the lips because I'm going to have a mask on anyhow. We're still masking up inside our buildings, which is very out of the ordinary for Texas. But if you don't get out the street, I'll have to drive around you on the neighbor's lawn. Thank you. Mobile home living. So, heading into town. I'm going to go try to find an angle that doesn't have the pulpit microphone right up people's noses. I actually got up during one of the songs when we had slides going on our live stream and moved the whole tripod over trying to get that microphone out of the minister's nose. The minister is brand new here and that's how we welcome people. <laughs> no. You new camera person. We're gonna uh, make do in the meantime with me. Although if I don't find a replacement, I'm going to have to rope some people in and teach them. That won't be much because I don't know much. This is the ratio, of, uh, wait, this is the golden ratio, this is the rule of thirds. Just pay really close attention to how it looks on the screen rather than how it looks when you set up the camera. You should be fine. I slept late enough that I did not grab a regular breakfast. I do have a protein coffee. I really need to go ahead and get that chugged. Uh, but I'm on time to get there early and try to get the, uh, the camera position sorted out. Although another thing I did suggest was what if we had the microphone pointed at the collar rather than at the face? Because if it doesn't change the audio any, it would certainly look better on video. It's worth a shot. The attempt will be made. I didn't go to the gym yesterday, but I did two days ago and my hips really bad from one of the machines. Like, still, it's been two days. I don't know if that means I overdid it or if I need to go more often, but I guess I'll figure that out later. And, uh, that is a lot of cows. Okay, pay attention. I don't have my glasses. Alright. So, I forgot to mention this earlier, but I I weighed myself today, I'm a whole two-tenths of a pound down, and that's like, that's less than the weight of a cup of water, but I'll take it. Um, I just, I need to keep logging to keep myself on track. And then, um, I heard last night that, um, and, and gosh, so many new people, um, my dad's work is going to have him back in the office, and, and it's been two years, it's been slightly over two years, and it has been a horrible, horrible experience for him, they're going to have him back in the office tomorrow morning, he's very excited about this, he really uses the commute to decompress. He really enjoys driving. He actually used to be a long haul trucker uh, when I was a kid. And like now it's computer stuff. Now it's office stuff. It's really, really stressful for him. And being able to have a bit of a drive, like nice zippy highway speeds and everything, just helps immensely with stress. And so, um, that's going to be good. He'll be in a building with stairs, which when he's, you know, when he was uh, needing to try to get some exercise, he would just start taking the stairs and it, went, it helped. We've only got some stairs that, like, you know, on the front porch, and, and that's not a full flight, not by a long shot. So, I'm really hopeful. 
he may need to fix up his motorcycle, make sure it's in, in real safe working condition. So, I mean, he's got this big, big truck, but gas prices, what they are, the motorcycle is, you know, a better option when it's just him going back and forth. And it also does, it helps. Um, there's a joke that he likes to tell. Um, there's a reason you don't see motorcycles parked outside of therapists' offices. It's because they're out riding. <laughs> That's their stress relief. Then they don't need therapy. I don't know that that's exactly true. I'm sure there are so, plenty of folks who have both motorcycles and therapists. If it helps you release the stress safely, it's a good thing. He's also a staunch advocate for helmets because at one point his helmet um, prevented the loss of most of his face. He had a bad wreck um, the same year I was pregnant with Bruce, but he bounced back and his buddies put his bike back together and found out what had uh, gone wrong with it. No bones were broken, but he's got a lot of scarring on the back of a shoulder from it. Alright, I'm almost to church. Time to get this and then I don't know what to do with the rest of my day. I don't, I don't have a lot planned. I have some ideas though. Um, I just got to church and I might be the only person here. <laughs> Good thing they got my key replaced. Here it is, 12 noon. And we had a church service all full of all kinds of technical hiccups. But most of them I was able to, you know, help with or work around. And my, uh, my friends all seem to be doing well. That's great. We've got so many elderly folks at this congregation. We pretty much everybody's at high risk. So we're all being super safe. Hand sanitizer, masked up. It's been good. It has been very good. Everybody there is conscientious of each other's well-being, and that's that's totally awesome. But I have overdone it. I have I have done too much this morning. I am headed straight home. I let the folks around me know that I had to dip and would not be able to wipe everything down with a Clorox wipe like I usually do. Thankfully, we have got a lot of folks who uh, will happily step in and lower the blinds and lock the doors and that thing. So, such a nice bunch of people. Oh, man. I just... My energy is gone. I need a nap. <laughs> I... I know I'm, I'm way behind with my upload schedule, but one of my comments today was that I always look so sad. I have a Tim Burton character face. Can't be helped. It's genetic. This is just how it, it is. I got these, these sad eyes, like, like they're actually tilted this way, kind of. I'm one of those people who can't wear winged eyeliner. And it's very hard to find anything about how to do downturned eyeliner. And the, the dark circles, that's just pigmentation. It's not a lack of sleep. I could be sleeping 10 hours a night, it wouldn't change. Um, so yeah, I, I look, oh, my asthma's kicking up. I look miserable even when I'm on top of the world. I'm just, I overdid, oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm passing a gas station that says regular is $3.99. Their prices are starting to hit. Okay, so I'm gonna load it. I'm, mm, I'm gonna work on slowing my speech down so it's intelligible. I'm going straight home. I'm going to lay down and edit my videos. I have to keep still while editing my videos. So that will be a good way to keep my brain active so I don't feel like I need to bounce all over the place. Once again, I am 
fairly certain that I am undiagnosed with ADHD. I have also considered, you know, mentioning that to my doctor. I've got, I've got a uh, appointment to see my doctor for my annual physical tomorrow, actually. So I will try to remember to bring it up then and see if I can get an assessment. Maybe. I've heard that folks who have ADHD often have anxiety because of it. So it very well could be that, that that's a root cause of what's up with me. And it'd be a good idea to check on that, I suppose. I need to log what I, uh, I need to log my calories from the one thing I've had today and then maybe after I've had a short break, figure out a decent lunch. Okay, here we are. It's 5.32. I've been editing. I'm also trying to delete some stuff off my phone. I'm having a good time of this. Um, it's a pretty nice, comfortable, warm day. It's actually a little bit cool for me. That's why I've still got my hoodie on. I, I don't know. Oh. I guess it's 79 degrees, but it's overcast, and I guess there's a little bit of a chill in the wind. So, it doesn't feel like 79 degrees. My mom's cooking dinner. I've been watching cartoons with John, and we've been making Dr. Octopus arms for his friend Henry to wear at school while they do a project for their theater class. John's going to be Spider-Man, and they're... Um, but Aaron is going to be the camera person. They have uh, this whole thing set up and they got to have it done by Thursday. So I'm cutting poster board and stapling. My hands are not happy, but it'll get done. Um, I did have a pretty reasonable lunch. The only thing I haven't logged yet so far in my fitness app is some apple juice that I had. I went through this whole thing the other day about um, cider, hard cider and juice. So I guess everywhere else, what we call cider here is just apple juice. And uh, what we call hard cider is cider. And what we're calling Apple cider is just unfiltered juice. It's a bunch of bologna. The hard part comes from it being fermented because I guess uh, we, we started having this difference of whether or not something had alcohol in it by saying it was a hard drink or a soft drink, hence sodas being called soft drinks. I don't know how much audio is going to pick up on this without the wind. I came out here to get the dog to go outside. He doesn't want to go outside. He wants to go back in the house. I tried. I tried. Both my parents are home, so he will not go for a walk with me. The attempt was made. We're going back in now. Okay, it's 7.14. John is being an anime fan. It's complicated. I got the whole thing. With a NASA shirt, even. The NASA shirt's not a part of it? Of course. But I knew it might be. Um, we're still watching cartoons. I've got a cup of hot green tea with too much artificial sweetener in it because I felt like it. And uh, my mom made a pork roast. That's barbecue flavor. I put barbecue sauce on it. We got salad. John doesn't eat dressing, but he um, he does like salad well enough. And uh, I put my light raspberry vinaigrette that I'm almost out of on it. And I got a couple of uh, crescent rolls. So, back to regular show. Cause 
Which one is this? Is Muscle Man High Five Ghost? It's My Mom. Episode my six. Mom! Episode 6, Season 2, My Mom. Okay. That's what we're doing. Let's see. It is 12.25. And, um... I've been... I had a rough evening. My my hands, specifically the one that functions best, uh, my hands are hurting because of this blasted school project John had to have done tomorrow. Well, he's... He's, he's got his stuff. We popped out a power drill and some zip ties and it'll, it'll work. It'll, it'll have to do. I'm not doing any more on it tonight. Um, we wrapped that up about an hour and a half ago. Hobby drills, duct tape, cardboard. Oh my gosh. And we need to go early tomorrow so that he can get to school early and go put all of his stuff in the theater room. He does like theater. Then, hopefully, I can just relax until it's time for me to go for my doctor's appointment. I don't really know what to expect with that. But I'll show up. Talk about how my health is doing. Hopefully everything is fine. This is just my yearly exam. It shouldn't be anything important. Although I am a little bit stiff and uncomfortable and I, I am due next month for another round of injections. Steroids. Right in the back of the shoulders, right in the neck. And I think it keeps the, the pain at a manageable level where I don't have to take the scary prescription or the loopy prescription. That's a good thing. My hands hurt, my shoulders hurt. <laughs> it's been a rough day. It was already a rough day before I started rolling cardboard by hand. So, uh... That's how tomorrow looks. And when I'm not doing all that, um, I think I might do some more editing because I made some good progress today and I really want to catch up. And for some reason, the stuff I'm deleting is not coming off of my phone as fast as it should be. So I need to see if I've forgotten to push a button or something. I probably have. Probably did. Um, but Monday... Monday morning. Technically it already is. And it's supposed to be a little bit chilly tomorrow. Not fair. Thanks for sharing my day with me. <laughs>